Question 1. What are the benefits of fiber channel SANs? Answer. Fiber channel SANs are the standard for storage networking in the corporate data center because they provide exceptional reliability, scalability, consolidation, and performance. Fiber channel SANs provide significant advantages over direct attached storage through improved storage utilization, higher data availability, reduced management costs, and highly scalable capacity and performance. Question 2. What environment is most suitable for fiber channel SANs? Answer. Typically, fiber channel SANs are most suitable for large data centers running business critical data, as well as applications that require high bandwidth performance such as medical imaging, streaming media, and large databases. Fiber channel SAN solutions can easily scale to meet the most demanding performance and availability requirements. Question 3. What customer problems do fiber channel SANs solve? Answer. The increased performance of fiber channel enables a highly effective backup and recovery approach, including LAN-free and server-free backup models. The result is a faster, more scalable, and more reliable backup and recovery solution. By providing flexible connectivity options and resource sharing, fiber channel SANs also greatly reduce the number of physical devices and disparate systems that must be purchased and managed, which can dramatically lower capital expenditures. Heterogeneous SAN management provides a single point of control for all devices on the SAN, lowering costs and freeing personnel to do other tasks. Question 4. How long has fiber channel been around? Answer. Development started in 1988, ANSI standard approval occurred in 1994, and large deployments began in 1998. Fiber Channel is a mature, safe, and widely deployed solution for high-speed, 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB communications and is the foundation for the majority of SAN installations throughout the world. Question 5. What is the future of Fiber Channel SANs? Answer. Fiber Channel is a well-established, widely deployed technology with a proven track record and a very large installed base, particularly in high-performance, business-critical data center environments. Fiber Channel SANs continue to grow and will be enhanced for a long time to come. The reduced costs of fiber channel components, the availability of SAN kits, and the next generation of fiber channel 4 gigabytes, are helping to fuel that growth. In addition, the fiber channel roadmap includes plans to double performance every three years. Question 6. What are the benefits of 4GB fiber channel? Answer. Benefits include twice the performance with little or no price increase, investment protection with backward compatibility to 2 GB, higher reliability due to fewer SAN components, switch and HBA ports required, and the ability to replicate, backup, and restore data more quickly. 4 GB fiber channel systems are ideally suited for applications that need to quickly transfer large amounts of data such as remote replication across a SAN, streaming video on demand, modeling and rendering, and large databases. 4 GB technology is shipping today. Question 7. How is Fiber Channel different from ISCSI? Answer. Fiber Channel and ISCSI each have a distinct place in the IT infrastructure as SAN alternatives to DAS. Fiber Channel generally provides high performance and high availability for business critical applications, usually in the corporate data center. In contrast, ISCSI is generally used to provide SANS for business applications in smaller regional or departmental data centers. Question 8. When should I deploy Fiber Channel instead of ISCSI? Answer. For environments consisting of high-end servers that require high bandwidth or data center environments with business critical data, Fiber Channel is a better fit than ISCSI. For environments consisting of many mid-range or low-end servers, an IP SAN solution often delivers the most appropriate price performance. Question 9. Name some of the SAN topologies. Answer. Point-to-point, -point, arbitrated loop, and switched fabric topologies. Question 10. What's the need for separate network for storage while LAN cannot be used? Answer. LAN hardware and operating systems are geared to user traffic, and LANs are tuned for a fast user response to messaging requests. With a SAN, the storage units can be secured separately from the servers and totally apart from the user network enhancing storage access in data blocks, bulk data transfers, advantageous for server-less backups. Question 11. What are the advantages of RAID? Answer. 
redundant array of inexpensive disks. Depending on how we configure the array, we can have the data mirrored RAID 1 duplicate copies on separate drives, striped RAID 0 interleaved across several drives, or parity protected RAID 5 extra data written to identify errors. These can be used in combination to deliver the balance of performance and reliability that the user requires. Question 12. What is the difference between RAID 0 plus 1 and RAID 1 plus 0? Answer. RAID 0 plus 1 mirrored stripped. In this RAID level all the data is saved on stripped volumes which are in turn mirrored, so any disk failure saves the data loss but it makes whole stripe unavailable. The key difference from RAID 1 plus 0 is that RAID 0 plus 1 creates a second stripe set to mirror a primary stripe set. The array continues to operate with one or more drives failed in the same mirror set, but if drives fail on both sides of the mirror the data on the RAID system is lost. In this RAID level if one disk is failed full mirror is marked as inactive and data is saved only one stripped volume. RAID 1 plus 0, stripped mirrored. In this RAID level all the data is saved on mirrored volumes which are in turn stripped, so any disk failure saves data loss. The key difference from RAID 0 plus 1 is that RAID 1 plus 0 creates a stripe set from a series of mirrored drives. In a failed disk situation RAID 1 plus 0 performs better because all the remaining disks continue to be used. The array can sustain multiple drive losses so long as no mirror loses both its drives. This RAID level is most preferred for high performance. Question 13. When JBODs are used? Answer. Just a bunch of disks. It is a collection of disks that share a common connection to the server, but don't include the mirroring, striping, or parity facilities that RAID systems do. But these capabilities are available with host-based software. Question 14. Differentiate RAID and JBOD? Answer. RAID, redundant array of inexpensive disks. Fault-tolerant grouping of disks that server sees as a single disk volume combination of parity checking, mirroring, striping self-contained, manageable unit of storage JBOD, just a bunch of disks, drives independently attached to the I.O. channel scalable, but requires server to manage multiple volumes do not provide protection in case of drive failure. Question 15. What is a HBA? Answer. Host bus adapters HBAs, are needed to connect the server host to the storage. 